Welcome to another edition of Golden Eagle Sports. I can't believe this. This is episode 76. And anyway, I'm going to start off with the Boston Red Sox. The Boston Red Sox are currently in 5th place in the American League East with a record of 56 wins and 58 losses. That is currently sitting in 5th place in the American League East. They're 15 and a half games back from 1st place. They play the Yankees tonight at 7.15 p.m. on Fox. Catch that game, and you'll, I can't wait for this game, to, this game to be awesome. Looking for a Red Sox W, 10-4 is my final score prediction for tonight's game. They close out the series tomorrow, August 14th, at 7.08 7 p.m. against the Yankees. Looking for, looking for the Red Sox to close out the series with two straight W's and continue the winning streak. They need as many wins as humanly possible. They play the Pittsburgh Pirates for four games starting on August August 15th. They have a day off. And man, they, have a, they need that day off, which is Monday. They need that day off because they deserve it. And then right after they have a day off to have a mental break and a physical break and just go to team meetings and team practices and just chill out with their family. They go right back to work on August 16th against the Pirates at 7.05 p.m. All their games against the Pirates are 7.05 p.m. on August 16th, August 17th, and August 18th. And then they have a, they have a free game set with the Pirates. And that should be a really easy game. They all start at 7.05 p.m. against the Pirates, free game set. And then they play the Toronto... No, then they play Baltimore on August 19th through the 22nd. And those games start at 7.05, 7.10, and 4.10. They should be able to... I honestly think they should be able to sweep the Pirates... And they should sweep for Baltimore. Baltimore belongs in last place, not for Red Sox. But I honestly think they, they can sweep the Pirates. If they close out the series with a W tonight and tomorrow against the Yankees, and then they sweep and then they sweep the Pirates, they on the sixteenth, seventeenth, and eighteenth, and then they go and then they and then they play Baltimore and sweep Baltimore on the 19th through the 22nd. And then they go from Baltimore, they have to play Toronto. And a little note about Toronto. Jackie Bradley Jr. got released by the Red Sox uh, earlier this season. And Toronto, the Toronto Blue Jays picked him up. Because Jackie Bradley Jr.'s contract expired. And the Toronto Blue Jays picked him up. Congratulations on getting picked up, Jackie Bradley Jr. I have a lot of respect for you. but And welcome back to Fenway Park on the 22nd of August. Unfortunately, you will not be wearing a Red Sox uniform. So I'm going rooting against you, Jackie Bradley Jr., but I have a lot of respect for you. Looking for a Red Sox W against the Toronto Blue Jays, and they got a free game set against the Blue Jays. The 22nd through the 25th. And then they play the Tampa Bay Rays starting on the 26th, which is also my birthday, which is awesome. But anyway... Looking for a Red Sox W again to close out the series against the Yankees, and then they sweep the Pirates, and then they sweep Baltimore. Ten to four is my final score prediction for tonight's game at seven oh eight. Watch tonight's game on Fox. I'll be tuning in. No, seven fifteen. Sorry, tonight's game is at seven fifteen on Fox. I'll be tuning in. Ten to four is my final score prediction for the Boston Red Sox game tonight.
12 to 4 is my final score prediction for the, uh, the season finale against the Yankees and to close out with two straight W's. And then my, I honestly think they can sweep the Pirates and they can sweep Baltimore. They have to to make the playoffs. Every win counts, and we need every win because we're in fifth place. We're in last place in the American League East with 15 and a half games back from first place. The New York Yankees are in first place with a record of 71 and 42. And that is very sad to hear about from any Boston with, by any Bostonian like myself. I love the Red Sox more than God knows anything. And honestly, seeing New York in the standing, seeing New York in the first place in the standings, makes my blood boil, makes my skin crawl sometimes. I don't know. I don't like it. I really don't like it. I'm hoping the Red Sox can pull off the. Close out the series with two straight W's against the Yankees tonight at 7.15 p.m. on Fox and tomorrow at 7.08 p.m. And then they have an off day on the 15th and then they play the Pirates on August 16th through the 18th. Close out, the, let's sweep the Pirates and let's sweep the Baltimore on August 19th through the 22nd. And then let's sweep the Toronto Blue Jays as well. Drop your final score predictions in the comments below, and let's see how close we get to the final score prediction for tonight's game. The series sweep against the, against the Pirates, and the series sweep against the Baltimore against Baltimore. Drop your final score predictions in the comments below. My final score predictions: ten to four tonight, twelve to four tomorrow to close out the series against the Yankees. And drop your final score predictions in the comments below. I honestly don't even need to give you score predictions for the uh, Pirates game because honestly, I know they're going to sweep the Pirates. But I'm going to do it anyway. 15 to 4 in the first game at 7:05. 17 to 4 in the next game against the Pirates. And I'm going to do this. 10 to 4 in the last game against the Pirates. They all start at 7.05 against the Pirates. Drop your final score predictions in the comments below and let's see how close we get to the final score predictions for the Boston Red Sox game and the Boston Red Sox series. I'm looking for a series sweep against the Pirates and against the Baltimore and against Toronto. And I'm going to go straight from I'm going to keep myself on the diamond and keep myself with the Red Sox. Unfortunately, un we got unfortunate news from the injury front. Chris Sale was able was was rehabbing to come back. And then he fell off his bike in Brookline getting a pizza. And now he he has broken wrists and now he's going to be out for the remainder of the season. That just means that the bullpen and the starting rotation have to step up because Chris Sale is going to be out for the remainder of the season. What do you guys think about that? I honestly think it would, I honestly would, st with what he's making, I would want to play as much as I can day in and day out. But that's just me. And honestly, I wouldn't ride my bike to go get a pizza in Brookline and fall off my bike. I would have someone drive me because I have I would have enough money to afford that. But anyway, what what do you guys think about Chris Sale's latest injury? Just just remi just a reminder, he also broke his pinky and he was out for a month or longer because he had he broke his pinky and he made a big deal out of that one. So what do you guys I honestly want to know what you guys think about Chris Sale's latest injury report. I honestly think that he should. I know he broke his arm, he broke his wrist by falling off his bike, falling over his handlebars on his bike in Brookline. Honestly, I would pay for delivery if I had his kind of money, and I would, or I would, or I would, um, pay. For pay a driver to go get and help me get a pizza but anyway I'm not Chris Sale and I never will be but 
I'm I'm the Golden Eagle, and I would play it with everything I got. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about Chris Sale's latest injury report? Or latest injury, falling off his handlebars in Brookline and getting a pizza. I honestly think it's ridiculous. And I honestly think that if he's worth $35 million a year, he should want to play every time he could. Every chance he got. But honestly... I, I mean, honestly, if somebody if the Red Sox gave me $35 million a year, I would want to play in, day in and day out. They would have to drag me off that field to not want to play, you know? I would want to play day in and day out. I would want to get a rest day, obviously, but I would always want to play my starts and always want to give it my all. That's what I would do. I'm not Chris Salvo, and I don't understand how he would work. I don't know how things would... I don't know what he, he, what's in his mindset, but that's how I would want to react, and that's how I would want to be. And it's the same for any broadcasting network that would give me a contract. I would want to broadcast every single game that I possibly could. They would have to drag me out of that booth and tell me, I, you know, and, and you know, until they would do that, I would do every single game I could. I have that mentality. I would never miss one game. And I would want to. I would want to play. For, if I was making his kind of money, I would want to broadcast or play any game that I possibly could. The company, the team, would w want me to take a day off. And honestly, I would take a day off, but I would want to pitch every start I pitch. If I could play, I would pitch every start that I possibly could and give it my all each and every day. And same goes for any broadcasting network that would give me an opportunity. Any opportunity is a great opportunity, but I would literally give it my all each and every day and always try to be the best person I possibly could be. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below and let's see how close and let's see what you guys think. Anyway, I'm gonna go straight from the Diamond to the Patriots field. The Patriots Lost their last game, yes, twenty-three to twenty-one. But just remind, just a reminder, it's week one of a preseason. The Patriots have a lot of potential, considering that we rested all our stars and we played all our rookies and all our backups. And I'm very proud of what the Patriots had accomplished. Looking for this, um, the um, the uh, same the same amount of effort. When they play the Carolina Panthers on Friday at 7 p.m. on... You can catch that game on Fox. No, on CBS. Anyway, I'm going to go straight from the, the, the football field to saying the... to the over-30 men's softball league. The... Falcons lost their last season game. I don't know what this could means for the playoffs, but gentlemen... The playoffs are right now, and good luck. The Golden Eagles always flying with you. I'm going to go straight from the softball field to saying thank you to all my subscribers. Like, comment, subscribe. This is episode 76. I couldn't do any of this without you guys. Like, comment, subscribe for another week of sports. This is the Golden Eagles signing off.